I'm not the artist, they're gonna turn to a puppet I've been myself in the darkness and I'm the same way in public Guess I'm a target cause they aren't in charge of what they are stuck with I wear my heart on my arm and I spill the guts on my stomach All of a sudden I'm hunting cause they don't like what I said But only dummies would choose to follow a wolf who is dead Tear the flesh off of your bones and keep your ghost in my head You looking just like a clown and I'm the bull in the pen And the labels aren't able to get in touch when they call Cause I know all the A&Rs and I'm ignoring them all Don't need a manager to help me, I keep blowing them off and all the rappers who doubted me, I've been proving them wrong They wanna give me a record deal to control me officially Cause as long as I ain't signed, I'll keep exposing the industry And they know if I put my name on that line, it's a victory Then they'll censor my message and try to rewrite my history I don't need the publicity, I need all of my friends To know if I disappear tomorrow, it's because of them They don't want you in power, they want you willing to spend All of your money on products so that they get their percent But I'm a different breed of person, liquor seeping through the surface Try and cut me in, I'll drink the blood, the stitches leak and bourbon and my fans are all amazing i officially deserve them i'll effectively eliminate and burn or tries to hurt them this my element the weapons and the skeletons i no i have a lot to yes well see that you keep that Welcome to the Bard's College. I'm the headmaster here. How may I help you? Always a pleasure to meet a prospective Bard. You should be aware that many apply, but we accept very few people. When possible, we ask applicants to perform tasks the college needs completed. In this case, I do have a task befitting an aspiring Bard. Elisif has forbidden the burning of King Olaf, a festival put on by the Bard's College. We need to change her mind. To convince her, I want to read King Olaf's verse, a part of the poetic Edda, the living history of Skyrim. Unfortunately, the verse was lost long ago. Yes, according to Giraud, our history's keeper, the portion of the Edda dealing with King Olaf might still exist in Dead Man's Respite. I need you to retrieve the poem. Uh, not much, but as a bard I find the whole affair depressing. There are no heroes in this war, no winners to be had, and no real conclusion. If you want something a bard can dig into, look to the dragons. A thousand years from now, Skyrim will have changed rulers dozens of times. But the return of the dragons, that story is once in an era. Not much, to be honest. Their return was a shock to us all. Gerard Germain has some tomes about them in the library, if you're interested. I think Giraud here would give you the best explanation of both it and the history of King Olaf's verse. You should speak to him about it. As you may be aware, Elisif's husband, High King Torig, was recently killed. Elisif mourns her husband deeply, and she feels that a festival that burns a king in effigy is... distasteful. I tried to convince her the festival is many centuries old and celebrates solitude, but I need proof. I believe King Olaf's verse will provide that proof. I wish you luck in finding the verse. I have faith that you'll return with King Olaf's verse. Hey, wanna play tag?
Late 171. Um, Morrowind suffered a massive explosion? <coughs> a good story is nine parts truth and one part fiction. I am Dean of Loot Seems at the like Bard's College, and no, I don't give private... Ah, you've returned. How goes the task That's I gave right. you? Read carefully. I have to admit I didn't think it would actually be there. Now, let's Even take a look at this. Oh. oh, no. This won't do at all. Your solo the copy is incomplete. It's aged to the point tomorrow. that parts are unreadable. Point, and the parts I that are readable... Well, bardic verse now has come a long it. way since now ancient times. Matters. It means I can't read it to the court. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the burning of King Olaf festival. If she isn't convinced of the festival's importance, then she won't reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. 
It means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening. Ataf keeps making eyes at me. You should tell him to make it up. Business. That doesn't seem appropriate. Kaya, you're so mean. I suppose I could copy his style I based on what you brought me, have but I have no idea what happened in between these verses. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. King Olaf was Olaf One-Eye? He famously captured the dragon Numenex and took him to Dragon's Reach. What did we say really happened? Hmm. Well, Olaf did become king, and Numenex escaped later. It's, it's entirely possible. And I'm sure the court will like that. I'm writing it in. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Strange. According to history, Solitude attacked Winterhold, but this seemed to be saying Olaf reacted. What do we say happened? Hmm, is not the most exciting answer, but the most likely. I'll write it in. It has a few final lines, but that's all we needed to add. I need to head to court immediately and present this. You should come! Ildi, what year did the... Good Ildi, soak in the lore. Yorn, what happened during the Red Year? I do hope the court likes the verse. I think we've done an excellent job of recreating it. I think my voice is ready. I hope we've done this well. Ah, Viarmo. I assume you are here to petition for the reinstatement of the burning of King Olaf festival. I am, Jarl. I wish to present King Olaf's verse from the Poetic Edda, recovered this very day from the Bard's tomb. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place, but I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, Death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. No shouting match between dragon and man, no fire or fury did this battle entail. Olaf struck a deal to make himself king. Numenex let go. Though none tell that tale. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, 
Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Olaf sent word to Solitude's Jarl, cajoling and mocking and begging for a fight. From Winterhold, Olaf had sent every message. Upon attack, he was nowhere in sight. So ends the story of Olaf the Liar, a thief and a scoundrel. We of Solitude commit to the fire. In Solitude, bards train for their service. They also gather each year and burn a king who deserves it. You have proven your point, Viarmo. The festival is truly a celebration of solitude and a condemnation of false kings. I thank you, and the college thanks you, Jarl. Furthermore, I believe that such a fine poem deserves some payment of patronage. The college will be moderately rewarded. Oh, thank you yet again. I will make sure our applicant, who was instrumental in recovering the poem, will be well rewarded. <laughs> Unbelievable! You have done us a great service here. I can't begin to thank you enough. Soon, soon. These things must be done properly. You will be inducted as part of the festival itself. I need you to go speak to Yorn. He was preparing the effigy of King Olaf. Tell him to finish the preparations. The festival is back on! What a fine idea, my yard. Watch your feet. to be. Did Viarmo send you? I'll tell everyone we're ready, but we'll start the festival at dusk. Come talk to me after dark. We'll get the festival started when you do. My position, Dean of History, actually covers a wide range of subjects. I teach poetry, writing, history, and the final... Ah, the bar... Great! Looks like you'll be one of us soon. We'll gather outside the college for the burning of King Olaf. Welcome to Solitude. It is my personal mission to ensure that the Bard's College preserves the great deeds of the past. In both poetry and song. Welcome, people of Solitude! We of the Bard's College are pleased to be here to celebrate the burning of King Olaf. The festival would not have been possible without the dedication and hard work of our latest applicant. With the lighting of the effigy... He becomes huh? a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Please welcome our newest Bard! They like you. Yes, congratulations. You are now a full-fledged member of the Bard's College.
Due to your adventurous nature, several of the college professors have some things they wish you to do. Has been excellent lately, yeah. What's more, Elisif has declared the burning of King Olaf should become a weekly event. And finally, there's the matter of the patronage that Elisif wanted me to give you.